Hello everybody, welcome to the next EPBB commentary video. Looks like we're playing Teemo versus Udyr. This is a bit of a strange matchup, not one that I play against very often. Um, I remember playing it a while ago when Udyr was like, I pretty like pretty newly reworked and he was super fucking broken. So maybe it's still kind of like that, but I imagine it'll be pretty good for me. Oh, they have Vice. I know Vice, he's my friend. I know him from like League and Twitter. I should talk trash him. Talk trash. Trash talk him. Um, what should I say? Maybe he maybe he doesn't know about the EPBB. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Bappy is a noob. Yo, my feelings. <laughs> Um, anyways, just like looking at the rest of the game, this looks like a pretty good Teemo game. Uh, Teemo's good against Belveth because you can uh, blind her little turret mode. Blind the auto attacks on that, pretty good. You know, LeBlanc is going to be specking into some auto attack things. Kaisa, I imagine Kaisa might have to go AD this game because LeBlanc and Udyr's an AP champ too. But maybe it's like fine, maybe she just goes, uh, Maybe she just goes magic damage anyways. Alright. Let's leash our jungler. It's fine. We're not going to get pushed against Udyr anyways. If he just walks into the wave and presses ulti, there's no way we can really contest that push. So we can uh, we can leash. We're definitely going to want to rush for um, some early boots this game. Walk this way. We can't walk that way or else we'll get owned. Let me make my mini-map a bit bigger. Uh, I can do it in a sec. He could be in that bush and try to cut me off on like the downward angle, but nope. Oh, he's over there. We have eyes. Oh, he didn't start ulti. He started, uh, he started W. So the shield will be kind of annoying. But it shouldn't be too bad. We'll just harass him when we can, try to get the CS. You know, try to get the CS. Dink. Wow. His shield is looking a wee bit spammable currently. I feel like with the amount of times I've auto-attacked him, compared to where his HP is right now, is uh not really... They don't really look like they go together. Damn, he's almost out of mana though. Holy shit. He's eating through manas. Maybe that's how you beat him. You don't beat him on the HP front, you beat him on the mana front. I should take a mana flow ban then. I have a Gathering Storm. Let's go ahead and place a ward. We don't want to get ganked. Belbeth could try to 3 camp us or something. So just get that down. But I would definitely go bot if I was Belbeth into the Braum lane. Into the Braum Nautilus lane. I think it'd be wise of her to do that, but... Not sure. He might not think the same as I do. Damn. So I did a pretty poor job of CSing, I'd say. But it should be okay. I wonder if he got that cannon. Damn. I should not queue into a shield like that. That's actually... His shield is fucking huge. What the diddly dungus? I wonder if he's going to recall and buy tier. Honestly, I think he should. He's been running out of mana. There's his recall. He did go tier. He probably could have just started it. Did I miss that cannon? I think I did. Let's get that wave crash. Let's go ahead and recall ourselves. We need to match his base with our own. Plus, we're running out of mana. I have no, uh, no mana flow bands. We do have Gathering Storm, so we do be scaling. Oh! Bygar solo kills LeBlanc. What the fuck? I don't know how that happens. Our Graves is not happy with our Nautilus, though. Pepper is here. 
Mm, it looks like he kind of dicked down that wave that was there. He's, um... He's better... He's doing better than I thought he would. I figured this matchup would be better for me than it is. Maybe I just suck. Maybe I should have a lot more CS than I do. I remember when that used to do, like, an insane amount of damage. Like, a crazy amount. There's no reason to gank this guy. We'll never kill him. We have no hard CC. Mm -mm. Think. 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 Let's walk over here. Put a little board down. We're probably recalled. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave the wave in the middle for as long as we can. And hope the creeps kill each other off. Just last hitting. Because we probably wouldn't be able to crash the wave in time. Especially since it's a cannon wave. For him to lose out. So this is probably the best way of making him lose out on the most minions. Is just leaving the wave in the middle. And hoping the creeps fight each other to the death here. Hmm. No, that must have been a bug. I'm pretty sure I got that last hit. I've been playing uh, a lot of League today. Mm -mm -mm. So I should. All I probably should have taken a break before I try to go record this, but I just got done streaming, and I wanted to just try to just get it out of the way. But I can tell that I definitely am. Uh, could use a little stand up, touch some grass, mayhaps. Pew. 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 Wow, okay, one auto attack doesn't get a shield down, but neither does two autos. Holy fuck. He's invincible. I need a. Uh, I need Serpent's Fang. He's so tanky. Oh, he got way behind in CS all of a sudden. He's got a sweeper. Cringe. Let's go ahead and... Honestly, oh, I was going to say I was worried about Belveth, but now I see her, so... I was going to go recall, I think, but now I see Belveth. Hmm. I feel like his ulti doesn't really do that much damage to me. Okay. Let's go grab the plant and stay in lane. He's no TP and he's actually kind of low now. He's like, what, 400 HP, 500 HP? 500? Yeah. Let's grab this plant. Ooh. And while I grab the plant, maybe get a little extra going on too. I think that'll kill it. Oh yeah, that'll kill for sure. All right, Udir. I don't think I'll kill him. I could have ripped the ignite on him, but I think his um, shield would have done enough to prevent me from killing him there. We got his ghost too. Maybe if he didn't ghost, I went for it, but getting his ghost is fine enough. Nautilus wants to rift. I kind of need to recall. Uh. Yeah, Graves, Graves, Graves isn't coming, so it's uh, it'd be too hard of a force to go for that. I think. Let's buy a pink. It'll be pretty sick if we can deny Belveth getting the rift. So let's go ahead and path. So just going straight to our lane. Let's go ahead and path this way, and we can put a shroom next to the rift herald, and it'll give give us vision of it. We can just put it like right next to it, and it kind of acts like a ward without having to use a ward. I mean, Timo, Timo, kind of broken, huh? Timo, a little bit imbalanced. Put that there. Udir can go sweep it, I guess, if he wants. Like if he wants. Dink. Dink. Mm -mm. Aww. I don't know if you guys can read the chat, but I got a firm request from Top Defruto. And I accepted it. 
And he said he didn't think I'd actually add him. And he said he likes my videos. Aww. Hi, Top Diffrudo. Thank you. That may be the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Oh, shit. I'll probably actually good here. I could maybe bait this out. Hmm. That was probably one of the weirdest ganks I've ever seen. I should move. Because Braum is here too. If Braum wasn't here, I wouldn't move. But with Braum here, I should definitely move. Braum could be strong in this little skirmish. Um, uh, let's go. We don't have to go. We don't have to go. It's good. We got the rift. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uder's pushing out top. Let's go ahead and, uh, answer this. Collect some creeps. We're like 30 CS up, a couple plates up. No kills, but honestly, this guy looks a bit unkillable. Oh, my fucking... my stuff. My pink. Let's just keep doing what we're doing, I guess. Just keep pushing waves. Is he proxying me? He is. Let's go see if we can deal with him. That wave has crashed, so it'll eat a little bit of time. He's no ghost. So maybe we could like to kill him here? Nice. Um, yeah, I don't think we should rip top. Let's go ahead and let this plate go. So he can't get it later if I try to, like, reset or something. Let's just play for our Nashor Sooth on our next base. We could probably get it. I think his TP's back up. But I don't think he'll just run at me. But maybe he will? He's got Mercs. Maybe he will just run at me with mercs. Yeah, let's be a bit safe here. What's happening mid? Mm, maybe I should move on this. Oh, he tried to slide that one in. I mean, if Graze is, is hitting the entire time. Wow, my champion's kind of broken, huh? That Belveth really went for it, but, you know, Teemo Blind is kind of... It's a kind of a good ability sometimes. I don't want to let Udyr get, like, a ton of free plates, so I'm just going to run back top right now. Even though I have my item, I don't want him to get the money from the plates. So, try to deny that nice little pink ward over there. I'll go get it if I can. Go get it in a sec. Let's just drop a uh, Shroom on this wave. I'm level 11 now, so my Shroom will kill the, uh, the casters with one Shroom. There he goes. Get the cannon. Let's go ahead and recall. Let's go the kill the pink and then recall, I guess. He might get a tower plate here. Might get one or two. Not a big deal. We got what like a 50 CS lead about. We got our item. Nab that. Let's buy that. Just go back to lane. We don't really need to uh get full mana, I think. I don't think there's a reason to wait. So we probably won't really use much mana except for putting shrooms down. So, I'm also, I'm not going to use W, because I don't want to use that mana. So, sometimes people ask me why I don't W to lane. It's because I don't want to just, like, rip through my mana if I don't have, uh... If I don't have regen from anything. Excuse me. <laughs> do, do, do. Put a couple of shroomy boys down. I wonder what he's building. He wouldn't go chains first, Udyr, would he? He wouldn't go hard steal Udyr either, I think. Wow. I don't know what's going on mid, but they're not very happy. Hmm. Chains first Udyr. Um. I mean, if this was TFT, I'd say he's building redemption. Let's go ahead and use a stream on the wave. I don't really like being so far up for so long. I guess Belveth is dead, so there's not really much to worry about, but I also want to try to grab a red buff. It'd be pretty sick. Your team has destroyed a turret. 
Thank you for the red buff. We have a way out here, so I'll just chill and maybe Belveth walks over here looking for her reds. And I can uh, diddle her dungus a bit. Very nice. We don't have to look. We can just back off. Yeah. Belveth is a pretty free kill. I could have used my Ignite on her and been a bit safer with it, but I figured we had her dead. Um, I think she went into turbo mode right there and like wasn't moving around. Let's go ahead and catch top wave, push the next one out, and then I think we'll reset and head towards the dragon that's spawning in a minute. We'll also have some components. He did go chains first on Udir. It's a bit cringe, but is what it is. I don't really like the design of chains. I just think it's a bit anti-fun. Mm. He's mid, so let's go ahead and push one more. And get this fully crashed. We can still make it in time for the dragon, for sure. Toss a shroom on it. Dink, dink. One shroom, plus the auto on those melees should get everything. Nice. Um, I should show up to this, too. I don't really know how it's going to go, but I shouldn't... Uh... Let's go ahead and ignite him. Maybe we can get him here. Very good. Okay, we're just going to one-trip our Riftmaker from here now. We can get the Dragon later. We're not really playing for it anyway, so I guess resetting would have been a waste of time. Just one-trip our Rift. There's no way Udyr 1v1s us with just Mercs, Chains, when I have Nash's Rift, right? My Omni Vamp has to be too high for him. Certainly. It must be. It must be. Mm-mm-mm. So if you guys are wondering why there hasn't been so many EVBB games recently, one, I was in LCS finals over the weekend. So I recorded some and like scheduled them over the weekend. And another reason why is because on Wednesday, um, my kitten, I have two, two new kittens, Mango and Charizard. Mango decided to push over my monitor that I play on and it broke. So I only had my like shitty side monitor left and I didn't really want to record a game or stream on that with only one monitor. So, yeah. Hecking Mango, dude. You think Charizard would have been the one to fuck up the monitor? He, like, got behind it and pushed it off the stand. Probably, like, standing up on the backside of it. Honestly, I don't know if it was Mango. I'm just going off what my little brother said. Apparently, my little brother witnessed the entire thing. He didn't do anything about it. But he said, uh, yoinked. He said it was Mango, and he said that's how it happened, so... Um, I think we could 1v2 Braum and LeBlanc. Depending on how it's played, so... Maybe I'm gonna go for it. See if LeBlanc dashed over this wall. Mm, I don't want to flash after her. I could have maybe went for the flash after her and killed her, but I don't think it's worth it. Just save my flash. We did enough damage to make him reset anyways. So, pretty winning for us to send him back to the base, I think. Didn't really lose out on anything. Whoa, that guy's fucking... Okay, he didn't go back to the base. But I'm pretty sure he dies in auto queue. We have to be a bit careful there, though, because they're, like, almost certainly sending their team bot. So, we just got to be ready to run away. I think Belveth might have AFK'd. I don't know. Ah, bastard. Dude, LeBlanc with static is so fucking slippery. I feel like I can never actually kill her. Let's go ahead and drop a shroom on those so we can focus our autos on the tower. And try to get through this, get some dollars from it. Damn. Homie just W's in autos and then W's back. And he's not even like, he never actually went back to the base. Or he's trolling. That guy has to be trolling. Oh, well. I guess they, they FF'd. Aww. Well, uh, poor Vice. His team wasn't it, though. His mid laner wasn't playing well. His jungle wasn't playing well. His Udyr was playing, or his top laner was playing Udyr top with chains. Vigar was solo killing his mid laner. Tier stacker 69. I'll give it to Vigar. You know, solo killing the Blanc, pretty sick. Let's take a look at the damages dealt really fast. Oh, 
Does that mean I had the biggest stinker? Oh my god, the big and Udir had the tiniest stinker. I mean, I guess I just like hit his shield over and over and over again. So my damage is definitely inflated, but you know, like biggest stinker, I carry the shit out of that game. Well, there's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed me auto-attacking shields for, for 20 minutes. Bye-bye. I love you.